Hi folks, Total Sales Solutions in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell diesel trucks. We sell lots of them, folks. One of our favorite trucks to sell is King Ranch. Uh, Ford King Ranch truck, we're going to sell one today. It's a 2010 uh, Ford King Ranch 2500 HD four-wheel drive. Just, just got it all. Moonroof, everything sitting on a good matching set of tires. I know this is a good truck, folks, because Dan and I have been riding it around in it for about two hours. The air's ice cold. It's got power on both sides. Runs and drives great. Rides, I mean, rides really, really good. What's, what's amazing about this truck is the condition of it. All things considered, a man, since this truck was two years old, a man's been driving up and down the interstate back and forth to Dallas. And it's got a little over 300,000 miles on it. Now, if we had it said it had 60, you'd believe that, but that's how many miles are on it. It's totally stock. Everything about it's just the way it ought to be. Whoever buys this is going to be a great bargain, a great value. Whoever buys this truck is going to be real tickled with it. Like I said, I've been riding around in it for an hour, and I like everything about it. 2010 King Ranch. It's got the chrome package, chrome tow hooks, chrome mirror covers, bed tie downs. A local truck, been here all of its life. You can see there's no rust issue. You can look in here at the inside flash. You can see that it's not been off road and muddy. This is a matching set of tires. Uh, and look how nice it is on the inside. We didn't recover these seats or stitch them up or anything. This is just how nice they come in. Headliner's not sagging. Uh, got a backup camera, automatic climate, heated seats, power pedals, power mirrors, memory seats. You can look in the, the door edge jams along the bottom. You know it's not filled up with mud or dirt or dust. Look back here. How nice this back is. Got the King Ranch mats, the carpet's beautiful. Sliding rear window, got the fold out tray. I'll have them pictures. You can look at the bottom of these cab corners, bottom of the doors, no rust. I've got this up just to show I don't see any paintwork on it. You always catch them there. The bed, of course, our boys did a great job of cleaning it up, but it's a bed liner and the bed's neat and the lines are straight on it. Look back here. How nice this, those are. Even has those little rock guards behind the tires. Those are almost always knocked off. Got a full size spare. Look behind the wheels. They're not pecked up and ate up. That, that's how you tell when a truck's been out on the highway. Uh, look behind the rear wheels. Got the tailgate step. Bed liner. See the backup camera. Uh, it's a local truck to life. It's still got a, uh, a new tag, tag still on. in. The hitch goes with it since we don't have the key to that it's hitch got lock. One little ding right here that you've got to look closely to see. But and you can get a PDR thing. guy, one of those paintless dent guys, to fix that you if you care. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Doesn't it. show any chrome mud exhaust and water tip staining underneath there. It's just hard to believe it's still all stock, not deleted, not see the tuned. Line on the bed. Look in the jams. Carpet's a little dirty, but you can probably scrub it out. It's not threadbare, torn. There's no odors, no smells. Dash it and cracked. Got the uh, manuals to go with it, the spare tire lock, all that stuff still under it. Tire on both sides, it works. Right. Great set of tires. Wheels are all good. They're not curved up or scuffed or chipped. It's a nice truck, folks. You know, everything in life is relative, as I say too many times, I guess. But, I mean, this truck's not $85,000 either, or seventy five, and you're, and you're going to get a good truck. So if you've been out shopping, you wanted a King Ranch, you've been out looking around, and they knocked you down with the prices, much less I forget about a new one, what they cost, but even on a used one, then you'll really appreciate this truck here. We're, we're letting it run so you can see it's not running hot, not throwing any water anywhere, doing any of that. Plus, it's about 105 here in Mississippi today, and it's staying real cool on the inside while we do this. But this truck's going to be a value, it's going to be a bargain, 
whoever gets it, I promise you, is going to like it for what it is. It's a 2000 King Ranch, 2500, four wheel drive, F250, uh, got, got, got everything. Uh, King Ranch, just, to, just about as nice as you're going to find, and certainly way nicer than you're ever going to find for, for the value that this is going to be. A nice 2010 King Ranch. Thanks for watching our video, folks. We appreciate it. Look forward to visiting with you about this truck. Seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Okay, now we're in the truck. Just going to show you a couple things before we get going. First of all, you can see power pedals, tow command, up here to switch. It's easy to see. Trash control, auto climate, dual zone, six CD changer, moonroof, before you ask. Yes, it works. It's too hot to open it all the way and let all my cold air out. Garage door opener, uh, like I said, six CD changer, backup camera, built into the auto dimming rear view mirror. It does have steering wheel controls for the radio, for the cruise, all that good stuff. I think it has Bluetooth. It's got a thing for voice. I'm sure that's what that's for. Got the sync system, got the auxiliary input. The windshield is brand new in it. So no cracks or anything like that. This truck, I'm telling you, it's not an exaggeration. If we said 60,000, you believe us. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of amazing, really, how clean this truck is, how well it runs, and, and for these miles. Um, and, we do have an open title just signed off on the back by the guy that traded it in to us. So, you know, if you're in one of those states where you come out better buying from an individual than from a dealer, then, you know, you're good to go with that. You don't have to worry about that. There's some states you buy from a dealer, you pay tax. You buy from an individual, you don't pay tax. So, and some are vice versa. So we can do it either way. We can, uh, assign it to our dealership and then to you or we can assign it straight to you whatever you prefer power slide and rear window works um, I'm not sure if we found anything that doesn't work on it to be honest I mean there may be something and I've missed it but if there is I can't think of it um, goes down the road like it should doesn't pull to the left or right now you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of Jackson. So even though the video may come out a little shaky, rest assured the truck itself drives great. You can see that green light on the speedometer. That's the cruise is on, holding speed. Now I turned it off, it went off. So cruise works, horn works, wipers work. Um, don't know of anything, like I said. Uh, got the automatic headlights, automatic dim and rear view mirror. This truck goes down the interstate just like it should. If you want to, uh, doesn't pull to the left or right, doesn't vibrate or pull when you hit the brakes. Uh, this truck has just had a brand new set of those SB body mounts put on it. And if you Google SB body mounts, I mean, the mounts alone are like $650, not counting installation. You spend over a grand quick to put body mounts on a truck. And it's just something, all these F-250s need eventually, it's just kind of a wear item, just with age, not necessarily with miles, because we've had them with under 100,000 miles, but 10 years old and, and needed body mounts. It's just something that happens. But they're done on this one, and they have a lifetime warranty. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, everything that this truck is needed has been done. Now there is one light on, you probably saw it a second ago, the tire pressure light. I haven't, the tires all look good, I haven't checked the tire pressures, but, you know, I'm sure that there is a, uh, maybe a bad sensor or something, worst case, and, and you can buy them 10 or 20 bucks on eBay, so I'm not going to worry about it. If you uh, if it bothers you, just bid to assume that it's got a bad tire pressure sensor. So, and 
and that's about all I can really nitpick mechanically. It's got plenty of power. Does it run rough or smoke or do anything weird when it's cold? Um, if you want to fly in the Jackson Air National Airport, drive it home, you can. We'll pick you up at no extra charge. We'll bring you back here to our office in South Jackson. We'll do all the paperwork and everything, let you get on the road. If you pay with cash or you wire ahead the money, we'll just hand you the title on the spot. If you pay with a cashier's check, we're going to hold it a couple days to make sure it clears. But we'll let you go and get the truck, obviously. Um, or we understand most of our customers are from the Northeast, from the Midwest, don't always have time to spend several hours or I mean not hours, days driving or flying in and then driving home so if that's you don't let the idea of having to deal with shipping scare you off from the truck don't let the uh, prices you may get at looking them up online scare you off because depending on how much of a hurry you're in we can save you as much as half off and the reason for that is most of these guys you find online aren't shippers they're just brokers and they'll charge you hundreds of dollars up front and they call it a deposit but all it really is is their broker's fee for finding somebody else to actually haul it well they all use this one website that's not open to the public called central dispatch it costs two or three grand a year to be on it and we're paying that now we're on it so we can offer our customers wholesale rates on shipping this is a free service we don't charge a markup or a deposit or anything although if you are uh, not one of our customers we'll do it for 50 bucks but we'd rather you be our customer and we'll do it for free but anyway if you're interested shoot me a text or an email with your zip code to 601-376-9869 and I will be glad to uh, give you a ballpark figure on shipping and if you're anywhere near Dallas or Houston or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida then I can get you a real good price on shipping um, basically the way it works is you pay us for the truck itself uh, you can FedEx us a cashier's check or do a bank wire we'll immediately send you the title and the paperwork and we'll post it for shipment and from there on it's just waiting on somebody to accept it so average is three to five days on shipping can take longer can be quicker it just varies mostly depending on how far away you are but um, once the truck arrives you pay the shipper the transportation charges and cash so you don't pay us for the shipping um, we don't get anything out of it it's like I said just a free service to our customers so uh, there's no markup or anything. You pay the actual shipping charges. Just hand hand it to the driver in cash. So, anyway, if you have any questions about this truck, give me a call. Uh, like I said, the truck is stock. It is not deleted, not tuned or anything. However, I would highly recommend you do, do a DPF delete on this truck. The reason I say that is newer trucks use that regen fluid these Ford trucks six fours like in this one they just dump extra fuel into the rear cylinders and it's it's fine if you know a truck like this one where it's been properly maintained and you can carfax it and it's had maintenance 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 since day one all down the line so um, but if you're not on top of the maintenance all that extra fuel can get past the piston rings into the crankcase, can cause problems. <coughs> the uh, it's extra extra uh, pressure on the engine that you can remove. And since you're not dumping fuel out the exhaust anymore, since that's how six fours clean their DPFs, they just dump extra fuel into the motor. You pick up three to five miles per gallon. So basically, it pays for itself. Now, I'm not going to discuss those options in this video, but if you're interested, call me and I'll discuss the options for that because, believe me, it's I highly recommend doing it. Or, you know, like this truck's made it 360,000 miles, all stock, so hey, maybe you just want to leave it alone, just stay on top of your oil changes. 
and that's the key to these engines anyway you got to service them change the oil every 5,000 miles change the fuel filters every other oil change if you do that these trucks can last forever if you don't do that you're going to have problems and it's, it's not worth it just start, keep them serviced and use Ford filters if you don't use Ford filters you're not really doing any service because Ford won't release their patents on their filter design so um, aftermarket filters don't really filter but anyway like I said um, you can see only the tire lights lit I like to show the truck after I've been driving a while because it's easy to hook your scan tool up and kill an airbag light or an engine light or whatever and say oh look no lights lit but there's a problem you haven't fixed it and as soon as you go to drive and that light comes going to come right back on so I like to show the truck after I've been driving so you can see for yourself that there are no lights lit other than the tire light in this case but anyway if you have any questions give me a call want to make an offer want to talk about deleting it or not deleting it anything give me a call 601-376-9869 appreciate you watching the video look forward to seeing you here in jackson mississippi thank you